Good Friday morning. I don't want to do this anymore. He's awake. Because I dropped my phone on the floor. I'm pretty sure he probably thought I fell on the floor. Right? I don't know what the hell it was. Uh, I'm also hungry, which is weird. Because I'm never hungry in the morning. Let's get up and get ready for work. Alright, here we are. And we got the morning stuff out the way now. I ugh, had a blast last night just playing the game and being obnoxious. And yeah, just I started out the night being a doctor, which was my favorite class so far on that game. And I would just walk around and just chloroform people nonstop. So, that was how my uh, night went. I just kept running around in circles, chloroforming, being dumb, and making everything just harder on everybody because that's the nature of the game when you're playing with me. So, yeah, just absolute shenanigans. Um... Skylar's bed's supposed to come in at some point in the afternoon. And Mary and I gotta go to the chiropractor later on today. Then we get back home tomorrow. I'll put together the bed and set Sky all up with that. Um, then we gotta take his bed that he currently has and his desk and we gotta switch it all out and around so that he, uh, we can take a picture of the bunk bed sell that or more correctly my mom will sell it and then um we we'll just have Sky with a whole new setup tomorrow so that's the big plan Look at that big old belly. Jax. He's just living his best life right there. I hear at least one of the boys up, and I know that Sean's up. He woke up at 6 o'clock this morning, but I don't know if Sky's up or not. But yeah, that'll be what's going on tomorrow. It's just putting that bed together. Um, and then I gotta find myself some food for survival mechanism, you know? Time to go scrounge the house. And it, these band-aids are just fraying all over the place. Mary and I seem to live off of band-aids because our fingers are just like peel apart like no other. Gotta love that eczema. Um, what else is going on today? I don't think I can come up with anything else, so we will see what happens later today. Alright, we're gonna see if this is still going on, but went outside to go check the mail, and as I was coming back over, I decided to check out the pond. As I came over here, I was looking at the flowers, and it looks like one of them disappeared, but... Inside this one that's not even opened yet, there is a tadpole. It is in it. Whoops. Where'd it go? See? Tadpole.
Man, those things are getting big. Super big. There. Well, yeah, I really do gotta clean it and remove all those old lily pads. Maybe I'll get some gloves this weekend, we'll see. Man, there's like a whole school of tadpoles over here. Right on that rock and right behind it, there's two more over there, three. There's a little guy in right there. and one big boy deep down there. Another guy right there. So yeah, that thing's just swarming with tadpoles. Back inside I go, Mary's on her way home. She'll be here in probably like 10, 15 minutes. Then we'll head out to the chiropractor, get back, and then it's time to finish up work and then play. And that is the day thus far. All right, I got home from work and then me and Sean went to the chiropractor and we just got home from the chiropractor. I'm about to go change out of my work stuff. I can't wait to get this stuff off. But I gotta work all weekend again. And they have and us do <clears throat> 12 hours on Sunday. Well, she was like, you wanna do 12 hours tomorrow or Sunday? I'm like, do it on Sunday. Cause you get double time, so might as well. Hey, Sean. Hi. He's putting ground beef in the sink so we can make dinner later. I'm gonna go change now. So I'm gonna take any time. This island is dirty. So, time to wipe it off. Saw my mom right here, and like leaving honey all over the daggone table. I don't like that spot. Jacks. Maybe in the future the boys will watch these videos just to find out how to <laughs> clean the house and make food and all that fun stuff. Because they sure ain't learning today. <laughs> um, I gotta chop up onions. Onion. That'd be pretty good in baked pasta, right? Onions? Onions and baked pasta? Sometimes, depends on if I have any chopped up or not. If I don't, then I don't put it in. I don't want to chop onions. 
Yeah, so leave it for me, huh? Oh, wait. How kind of you. You know I have that chopper thing? I don't think it works very well. I think it works perfectly fine. You just gotta give it proper portions. Because of course you want some thin and some slightly bigger, that way you can have a crunch and a little bit of the taste. Hmm. Alright, we need sauce, we need noodles. We'll be using these ones today. Because why not? Let me change out the battery before we do anything else. These tag-on kids. I asked Sean if he wanted to learn how to make food, and he said no. And then he walked right out the door. I said, did you want to learn how to make baked pasta? He said no. However, yesterday, he said, I don't even know how to make food. Talking about he doesn't know how to, you know, do things. Adulting. So, how are you not gonna know how to make food, but then not want to learn? Just doesn't compute in my head. So good lush? Okay. But we don't have peppers for that. What to do when we don't have one of the key ingredients for the meal? We improvise. We got hamburger helpers. She doesn't like hamburger helper. Um, hmm. Yeah, they had a bunch of them at their house. Ooh. Might not suffice for the meat part, but could have noodles and tuna fish. Yeah, we can do that. We want bread. 
Do we have bread? Yeah. Now we gotta. Yeah, I mean we do gotta take another loaf out, but. Do we have any? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna improvise and we switch it over to noodles, which means I need more water in this pan. A lot more water. We'll put this ground beef in the fridge, keep it cool for tomorrow. Put that over to the side first. Bring this pan over here. Add more water for the noodles. that pan. We won't be using these noodles anymore. So this time we're using egg noodles. And I'll chop up the rest of this onion. That way she can have as much oniony tuna fishness as she wants. Mary, yeah. it's here. Huh? It's here. Well, Alright, we just got a bed um, for Skylar in. So, now that's done. Alright, so we mix the egg noodles with the Miss Grass noodles. Yeah, we do. <laughs> and we like to use Zender seasoning as our flavor enhancer there. What of the other bread? Bit. And ah, yes, bowl. We'll use one of these two. It's a net. Don't tell me that's it. I don't know what the hell that is. Meow. What, you smell onions and all of a sudden you're like, oh, somebody's pulling out the tuna. Well, guess what? You're right. Oh, yeah, Jax? All right, and when it comes to little dude, he gets a little ball. Yeah? Hey, Mary. Guess she's not listening.
Yeah. Yeah. You can smell it. Imagine that. A little bit of a mess. Now, the interesting thing about Jax is that he licks stuff. And if it doesn't stick to his tongue, then he doesn't consume it which is why giving him tuna isn't gonna do any good. He won't eat the tuna, he only wants the juice. Which I find odd in a cat, but to each their own. What are you doing over there? Rude. This thing never wants to stay screwed on. Whippee. All right, Jax. And then, take all these, tighten this thing up, jeez. And a spoon! Two, three. That'll be good, for now. Half an onion. I'm good.
Now there was one funny time where Mary was opening up one of these and it used to come in a little baggie on the inside, all these itty bitty noodles. And so Mary took it and she dumped it out and all these itty bitty noodles went flying all over the place. What I'll do is I'll let those soak in, and then we, uh, um, drain out some of the water that's in there. And once that's done, they're golden. It takes, uh, takes only like three or four minutes for the little bitty noodles to fully soak in. So that's why you add them at the end when you've already like, basically, they're finished. How are you over there, Jax? Are you happy, you little majestic creature, you? I'd say that's the face of being content. Now he's got to make the rest of himself smell like tuna by licking. You get the taste on your tongue and then you put it all over yourself. It only makes sense. <laughs> yes, I know, phone. I know, I know, I know. It's done. I finished it. Over here, plant update. It's actually some interesting developments. So, that one is growing pretty well. Those ones are growing pretty well. But then we got one little guy right there. And then one right there. Looks like a watermelon, maybe. It's a little too late, but it's trying his darndest. And then, a wild Mary. You don't find them in the wild too often. And that's the mattresses. The mattress and box sprint. Mattress and box sprint. So, put that together. yep, it's gotta be laying about that high off the ground. I haven't seen the um, bed frame your mom got. Where's that at? In his room. Oh, you're put together or just laying? Uh, I mean, it'll be put together soon enough. Okay. Because I gotta take his bed out of the room before I can put it where it needs to be. Right. Gotta get his room clean first. Yeah, that too. That's gonna be a whole day's work to work in there. That's why I think it's kind of sucked about to work tomorrow. I was going to do a whole room redo. Well, maybe one day you'll get yourself a desk job or I'll make $200,000 a year and then you won't have to work. Yeah. We'll see. Oh, yeah. We got paid today. I should probably pay bills. Yeah, you should probably pay bills. Right, Jax? She should probably pay bills. Yeah. How's this coming along? We're getting there. So let's strain it off.
with that being said, you want it just below where the top of the noodles are. And then being just above the water level makes it just like that perfect amount of like brothiness. Because I don't want, you know, just to have to scoop in really far just to find a noodle. You know, my, my soup, I like it to have some more of other things in it than just water. I've never been a fan of filling up on water or bread. Just not my style. So, while they're there, let's throw all these useless noodles in. Look at that long one. In all essence, those could be uh, used as like its own soup. But that's not how we've done it through the years. Like that's what I'm pretty sure that these are. It's just like a little packet for you to just put water to and then toss it in let's say a microwave or something and then have a quick soup. But instead, we do it with all these other noodles. And generally that's enough seasoning, you don't need any more than that. But, not the way I roll. Oh yeah, I can smell it real nicely. Okay. And this is a bowl and plate. Yeah. We usually use this meal for lunch, but not today. Curious much? Yeah, Investigating the foreign. All good? We still have a house at the end of the month? Yeah. Barely! Yeah, I paid the electric bill and I took out money for the house payment that comes out on the second. All right. Then I paid the credit card. Now the real question is, are you a fork on a noodle soup person? Or are you a spoon person? Personally, I'm a fork person. All the rest with the spoon part could just be done. 
Time to eat. Tatakimasu. All right, Skylar wants to put his bed up now because he wants to sleep on it tonight. Oh, and sir. I'm gonna have to edit this video tomorrow because I'm exhausted and I have to work tomorrow. So they are currently up. taking the mattress, that mattress off. And I can't get in there so to put the camera up. Hey, babe, back out of the way. Yeah, you really need to clean this room. Why do you have two baskets in here? One goes to the bathroom. Let's see what he has underneath the bed. <laughs> I wonder. Give me this. Let's Since go. we don't have anything else going on at the moment, because we're waiting on a certain something. Waiting on a certain That's something. Right, Mega, we're waiting on you. Yeah, Mega. Waiting on you. You have no idea. You will after this video goes up. But you have no idea. So Wow, that will like jump into that bed. Yeah. Look at that messy child of mine. Get to the other side. Come on, Mary, grab it up. Scott, move the daggone laundry basket. Is that your new desk over there? He's got a new desk too, over there. So here's his frame a new desk so all this is about to be wow yep that's our kid that's trash hey look there's a sock i've been looking for let's start like this guy here's a garbage can here's a garbage can in your room See if I can set this up here again without it falling. Grab up all bottles and get them out of here. There we go. I must have spun and darkened into everything that I must do. Mm-hmm. Jesus. He has a crowbar? I told you to keep this oh. out of the way. Is your room just a pocket dimension now? <laughs> he just collects everything. He's a kleptomaniac. And apparently his room is a pocket dimension. You are a mess. You pushing? No. 
Gotta go get me a uh, flathead. Ah, uh, what size? Give me a drill and a flathead. Take these out. So where? This is probably too small, but we'll see. Oh, uh, where to? Out, just out. Give me a bigger one. Big one, big, big one. Because that's not dangerous. Random splinters. socket wrench. Bring the whole socket wrench set. Take these back. My goodness. Child of a messy broom. Messy, messy, messy. Grab up the trash bag. Doggy <sighs> day. bunny that goes in the freezer and you put like a little ice cube thingy in it. Why do you have my bunny? So I can cool out my finger because oh. it's so old. I need the entire Box. socket wrench set. No, this Let is, me see this. This is socket wrench. Yes, that's socket wrench. So grab the whole wow. set. It's not working, Skylar. <laughs> Let me go grab the rest of it. Zero sockets on it. Mary. A whole thing, a Kool-Aid just sitting on his floor. down. Open it up, Skylar. Why is this 
not even open. Well, it's open. He just didn't eat them. I know. I have an entire thing of Kool Aid in here. Like Put these in their appropriate spots. Because I can is not a good answer to that. In fact, that's the complete wrong answer. That's for the adapter. Look at the sizes that are on them. Read them. And then you can get back to that. So you told me how to bring it to you. Just kidding. <laughs> hold this up, please, Mary. Skylar, hold that for him. Oh, uh, what? The, the box. He's supposed to be putting those no, up. No, he can put those up in a minute. Skylar. I'll put them up. Don't pick it up too high. because Skylar was just throwing them in there. You know they all have a specific spot, right Sky? Mm -hmm. That's why they have sizes on them. Currently using. I'm using the 14 millimeter. Okay, so there's a 13 millimeter that you're missing, so one of these go there. never be that dumb to just shove stuff under his bed. And forget about it, would he? Scott, hold this. The wheels to this are in my drawer. Take all of this apart. Your mom's gonna watch put it all back together so she can take a picture of it. Oh, I know she is. But I can't get this out of here without breaking it safely. Alright, Sky, after we get all this out, how do you want your room set up? You want it the same way it is, or you want it different? Uh 
I'll move stuff around. I'll set it the way I want it to be, the way that I think that it'll work best for him. Is that mold turning black on his back? Is it just the lighting? You need to lift it up, but not too dang high. Down, just a little. Off of the, uh, yeah, it, the skirting board needs to be retained enough that it's all chipped off, chipped off the wall. Thank you, let it sit on the floor or let it be too dang high. It puts pressure on this, which then makes this really hard to trim. Yeah. Right, right. Is that about painting? Yeah, the, whatever you call the skirting board down there. Okay. Yeah. Check that with that. There's a Ziploc bag right there. Why didn't you go get one? Uh, maybe you didn't know it was there. There's a Ziploc bag right there. Why didn't you go get one? Okay, you see that in the hallway? That's nasty. Throw it away. I threw all those socks away a long time ago. That's nasty. Because you're taking too dang long. Go get the vacuum. Well, have a, Go get the vacuum. Do you have a thing called patience? Stop. I got better crap to do than this, okay? I mean, go I got better that. crap that I want to do. Than go this. do it while he's cleaning up. You all right there? No. Why must you overreact over this? <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, that's enough room. I'm trying to call your phone and it keeps going straight to voicemail. Is it dead? <clears throat> uh, where is... Where is your phone? I don't know. I thought that's what was your phone. That was really... Hey, the vacuuming event. I think it was nasty. Here you go, Sky. You might be the reason for your own allergies. Go empty it. Alright. Watch out behind you. Everything is sitting in stamps. It's right there. And I'm also right here. I probably should zoom out. on the floor. Set it out there. Get up. I gotta get up now. Yeah, you gotta get up. You gotta help. I can't get up. I'm stuck. <laughs> When'd you get go? Uh, you bought it. Huh? Well, one time, uh, decided to get the and you bought it. You bought it? I don't know. I'm buying it. That's how it goes in. Watch. Slides in and goes down. Now help dad on that side. Goes in. Slides in. Slides out. Put this side in first because this side does not move quite as well as the other one. Lift it up all the way. Done. Now this side. In all the way. There's no slats for it. Oh, they're over there. They are over there somewhere. And they are good for the twin. Where'd you get them from? The guy? These on the inside are the oh, no. twin. Oh. Or not the twin, the full size. Those gotcha. are good for full size bed. 
not yeah. queen size bed. So we have to get bigger. So I have to tell her the measurements and then she'll stop by and pick them up. Mm -hmm. So can we put his mattress and stuff on the floor in here? Yep. Okay, we'll move those. Okay, move those out the way. I'll go grab the mattress. At least you can still sleep on it. It'll just be on the floor until we get the slats for it. Just pick them up, move them out of the way. Dude. That's his old mattress. Yeah. I can't put it on that without having anything underneath it. The whole thing will break. Okay. Well, I guess we'll finish the bed stuff tomorrow. Don't stand on that. Why don't you just put the new mattress like right here? It won't fit. Sure? Where do you think it's gonna fit at, bud? Yeah, it's on the room. <laughs> so just for tonight, and you can sleep on the your new one tomorrow. We'll head out tomorrow when we go shopping. That mattress is disgusting. Yes. That mattress we had since little Sean. No, Skylar was two or three. That is the horrors of having children. That's what that is. Yeah, I'm not showing you that mattress. That mattress is gross. I just got to slap the uh, sheets back on it. I think Skylar was You'd be five or six when we got that bed, and that used to be Sean's mattress. Because you got an actual so, box spring now. Right, but I would end the video here because it is almost 8 o'clock and I have to go to bed. Seven, uh, it's 7.48. 48. I keep looking up at the ceiling because his alarm clock, the time projects up at the ceiling so uh, I can what, see the time. I so I anyway, this, like, like, comment, this, this subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow for the rest of this room. And goodbye. Merry Christmas. <laughs>